What is up guys, this is Jay here, JMedia1, and today we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Apexel, and this is a 60x20 close range monocular that you can use on your phone in order to capture some pretty cool video and pictures. This is made by MIAO Labs, and this is supposed to be a really, really cool monocular. So we're going to take a look at this today, guys. We're going to do an unboxing first, then we're going to show you guys kind of how to hook it up to the phone, and we're going to take some real life shots so you guys can see what it looks like in real life. So, here we go. I just got this little flap here, I pull it back, it comes in the box just like this. Pull this back, and we pull out the case, and there's a little bit of reading material inside of here, nothing else. We can get rid of that. This gives you instructions on basically how to hook it up to your phone. It's supposed to be super, super easy. There's just a little clip and things like that that make it pretty easy to put together. Um, inside the case, we just have a zipper here. We got a little cool carabiner here so you can clip it to your side if you want to, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> inside the case, it's packaged really nice. We got a little microfiber cloth with the logo on it which is pretty cool it'll be helpful for cleaning and everything's kind of tucked away inside of this little area here we have this little elastic strap that holds everything in place so if we pull this out this is going to be the clip that attaches to your phone and there's different adjustments here there's a little thumb screw and then we got a little screw here and you can see the threaded end right around here and that threaded end is going to allow us to thread it to the monocular then there's a little eye hole here you can see the little eye hole and that's got a little bit of a, a rubbery grip to it which is nice that should allow it to stay on there pretty good um, so inside this is the monocular itself it's really small <clears throat> if you see it compared to my hand it's not very big at all which makes it nice for traveling makes it nice for storing and then there's this little end here you pull that off and that's going to be your lens cover your cap you can pop that in it stays in there pretty good pull that off to pop it out and then there's a little thumb adjustment here that's probably going to be for our focus and then we got a cap on the other side and I like how this lanyard stays there it's kind of in place because you can hold on to that or wrap it around your wrist like this That'll keep it from falling, dropping, destroying the lens, things like that. It does have an adjustment here, so you can use it for just your eyeball. If you wanted to just scope it out like that and put it up to your eye. You definitely don't want to put these things up to your eye without this adjustment out because it will touch, your, the lens portion of it will touch your eyeball. So this is nice. So we do have different options. The case is really nice. It's premium. It's padded. It's soft pretty heavy duty. I think it'll do a really good job at protecting it. And that's what's important. So we're going to get this thing attached to the phone and give you guys a look at it like that. Okay guys, so if we look at the instructions, the way that they want this to be attached to your phone is basically the clip end is going to be straight up and down like this. And you want to get your whole adjustment because phones now have several cameras, right? So you want to get your adjustment to where this sits flat. If you look inside of there, you can see that it's not quite flat yet. So what we need to do is we need to get this right about here because this clip portion wants to drag this back. And so the weight of this being screwed on is going to help with that. But you got a little adjustment inside of here. And that's where your adjustment is going to be so that you can get this perfectly lined up with the camera hole. And then if we look at the other side of the phone here, we can see where the adjustment is, where the hole is. If we zoom way out, you can see exactly where the hole is fitting inside of the, the photo itself. So we want to make our adjustments so that that lines right up inside of there. And like the other monocular that we reviewed, you do have to have, um, you're going to have to have a certain level of zoom in order to get past this portion of it. So we want this to be as flat as possible, and once we get it as flat as we possibly can, then this little thumb screw on the back allows us to tighten it down, which is going to bring it in even closer. This is going to give us our, 
our tightness and our strength to hold that on there. And it looks like we got it pretty good now. So once we tighten this down, we get it to exactly the grip that we want. We're going to take the monocular itself and just screw it on there. And then that's going to give us the camera view that we want. And then we can zoom back out. We can make sure that the hole is still lined up. Once everything is lined up, we're in pretty good shape. We can actually start to use this thing. And it seems to be pretty nice. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to give you guys a good look at the mountains with it. Let you see how it looks. Okay, guys, this does have four out of five star reviews. If you go to Amazon, you can check it out. You can also click on the link below to get your very own. It is 6x20. It is the monocular telescope. It's got a universal smartphone clip. This allows you to clip it onto virtually any smartphone out there. It has a BAK4 prism. It's compact. It's very, very small, which makes it easy to carry around. And it does have this handy hand strap, which will allow it to keep it, like I said, from falling off or falling onto the ground if you were to drop it. This hand strap is good for kids and adults. It's good for wildlife, bird watching, hunting, camping, travel, things like that. Uh, the big features and details are it has one feet close focusing distance. Unlike most telescopes, it requires a long focus distance. This one has a 6 by 20, which can get focused in one feet away to miles away. Uh, close focus monocular is essential as you want to be able to get it as near to them as possible without frightening away, like if you were to look at birds or things like that. You won't miss any surprising sights such as bird watching, butterflies, and any other insects. insects. You just take it with you to bring it clear, detailed results. This thing has a high quality precision design featuring all glass high end optics. It has FMC Superior BAK4 green film prism. Uh, the monocular telescope uh, provides a six time magnification with a 20 meter objective diameter wide lens. It lets you have the best view in observation. It's easy and convenient. With the 6x20 pocket monocular you can see scenery easily and rapidly. It has single hand adjustment eye cup, which we showed you how you can turn the eye cup. So you can put this right directly onto your eye and it will allow you to use this focus wheel here to focus and zoom. Once you do that, it allows you to see a clear and bright image. The universal clip would help you to get an HD image or video on your phone very easily. Uh, the six time co compact monocular comes with a universal phone clip hand strap carrying case. The clip is compatible with most smartphones out there. Pretty sure it'll fit pretty much everything once you get the adjustment correctly. Um, you also have to notice that the clip can only be attached to the phone, uh, which the thickness of the phone is less than 0.78 inches. Most smartphones hit this mark on the market right now, so it does have a pretty wide application. It does have a satisfaction warranty. <coughs> uh, this thing will come with a lifetime warranty. Um, it's great for, like I said, bird watching, wildlife, golf, scope, surveillance, concerts, traveling. Uh, it comes with friendly customer service, 30 day hassle free money back guarantee. Uh, no worries about your purchase because it does have a lifetime warranty. It's a great product for your family and friends as a gift. Uh, the package dimensions are 5.35 by 374 by 2.13 inches. Uh, this guy only weighs in at 8.3 ounces, so it is pretty light, compact, and easy to carry with you, which is the best thing about it. Um, if you can see from the action shots, this thing just takes pretty good photos, guys. It does a really good job, and for being the size that it is, you can see here it only sticks out this far from your phone. So it's pretty easy to carry around. It's even easier than any other monocular that we've reviewed, which makes it super nice. You want to get it off here you just unscrew the thumb the thumb screw on the top which gives it just that extra grip I don't even know if that's hundred percent necessary I would say that you want it because you want it to have that close attachment and that strength so it is important to have um, you unclip it like that and then you just unscrew it from here and then it's off this does have an adjustment here I don't know if you can see that too well but you can adjust this as well so you can go back and forth to get it right in that perfect spot on your phone and then you do have the the caps here for extra protection which is very nice 
this one goes on this side and then once you cap it on this side you got pretty well protected binocular. At this point you just put everything back in the bag and you can take this guy with you anywhere you want to go. These things are great for getting just those added shots, right? Because phones are already really good. But these things give you those extra shots that make everything look super crispy, super clear. Okay, guys, if you like this review, if you like this unboxing, please hit the like button, mash it down, and then subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more reviews like this uh, coming up in the future. We will see you later, guys. Later. Thank <laughs> you.